This animation can be found on my website. If you watch my next video, other videos on this subject, you will see the address to be able to actually do this particular uh, animation yourself. It comes with a narration, but I am talking over the narration by cutting the sound out to give you what I think is a simpler explanation of what's happening. So what we're doing is we're talking about changes in concentration and how those affect equilibria. Then we're going to do changes in pressure and we'll use a different reaction to show you how that works. And then a third reaction to show you how changes in temperature affect equilibria. So let's start with the concentration. And what you're going to see is the iron thiocyanate ion trading back and forth with iron 3, the iron plus 3 ion, and the thiocyanate ion. So these two guys, if you think of these as, a piece, as pieces of paper, this goes together with this to make this. So the iron 3 and the thiocyanate come together to make iron thiocyanate which is also an ion. And that's like putting two pieces of paper together. You're making something. If we go the other way, we're taking something apart. We're ripping a piece of paper apart, and we're forming two different ions here and here. And all of this is one to one to one, which means the mole ratios, the coefficients in front of these guys, there are no coefficients, so they're all consider considered to be one. Now, if I add some of this sodium thiocyanate, forget about the sodium and think only of the cyanate, which is over here. This guy is going to wind up going up initially, and then Lachat's going to get into the act. And he's going to try and undo what I've done by adding it. Let's watch it happen. You're going to see this guy go up, and as it goes down with Lachat's actions, this will also go down and this guy will go up. Let's watch it all happen now. Just, just see how it, how it looks. See it go up. The SCN went up. And now the shot's doing the left-hand shift, which takes things to the left-hand side of the equation, which is taking more of these guys apart, or uh, putting more of these two together and making more of these guys. So this, when the shot got in the act, this went down, this went down, and this guy went up. Let's watch it again. See? Colorless guy went up, and now Lachat's doing the left shift, and both the colorless and the yellow went down, and the red went up. That's what Lachat does. So let's go through the logic of what he actually did. We're adding the SCN ion. So we're adding this guy. Lachat's reaction, he wants to take it away. And if he takes it away, the only way he can take it away is by putting two things together and making this stuff. So to do that, it's going to require using up some of this line and some of this line, and it's going to make this line bigger. Now, also, let's watch this again. You're going to see the color change over here. Let's watch this again and watch the color change. Okay, here we go. And you see that color got darker, and that got darker because more of this was in the water after Lachat did his thing, which was the left shift. So this increased, Lachat does the opposite, and he wants to use it up. And the only way he can use it up is to go to the opposite side, which is the, the logic that I've been teaching you in using, doing the Lachat stuff. And so... He's got to go to the opposite side. Opposite of the SCN is the FESCN, or iron thalcyanate. Okay? Now, let's remove iron. All right? That's a little different situation. If we remove iron, Lachat wants to make more. He always wants to do the opposite of whatever we do. So this guy only will go down at first. And then what we're going to do is see Lachat get together and pull some of these things apart to make more of this. That's what he's trying to do. And in the process, by breaking this up, whenever he makes one of these, he's also making one of these. Watch it happen. 
Okay, you see the iron went away. And now the shot's it right in the action here. And he used these guys, this guy up to make this one and this one. Let's watch that again. Okay, remove the iron. Down comes the iron. And now the iron's coming back, not to its prior level, but it went back some. Now you don't you might have also been looking over here, maybe you didn't. Let's watch the beaker now and let's remove that iron again. Here we go. The iron is about to come out, and you notice the solution gets a little bit lighter in color when the shot gets into the act. Because the shot's taking some of the dark red out and making more of the yellow and the and the clear. So that was a shift to the right. We shifted to the right because when iron went down, the shot wants to make more iron. So that means he has to go to the same side that the iron is on. And that same side is a shift right because this is the right side. And in so doing, the color changed. We could see that. And the amount of this thiocyanate and the iron increased in the amount of this stuff, the iron thiocyanate went down. Enough of this one. Let's go and see what happens with pressure. Now with pressure, that's going to be controlled by this little cylinder right here. So when we shove this down, it will compress the, the liquid or the gas in here. This is a gaseous thing. And that will make more pressure. When we make more pressure, the shot wants to make less pressure. Now in pressure, what you are keeping track of to figure out what the shot does is how many numbers you have of each one of the molecules on each side. Now if you look here on the right side, you'll see the coefficient is 2. On the left side, the coefficient is 1. It's not there, so it's assumed to be 1. So we have more moles of gas over here than we have over here. We have the same amount of stuff, but it's put together differently. And all gas molecules exert the same amount of pressure. Whether they are big, huge, gargantuan mole molecules like hemoglobin, or whether they're simple little ions like these guys. So, let's increase the pressure. Watch what happens. Pressure's gone. Okay, see the thing went down. And now the shot is going to try to reverse what we did by going to the side that has fewer molecules. And that's going to see this guy go up and this guy go down. And there they go. See that happen? So what was happening? The shot was doing a left-hand shift. He was going to the side that has fewer molecules. So every time we put two of these together and make one of these, we are decreasing the pressure. And, and it, it's in a big rate here. If we converted everything over here, we would cut the pressure in half, which is a pretty good deal. So Le Chat is working with pressure as numbers of moles. His response has to be in moles, shifting to get fewer moles. So let's go back now and let's decrease the pressure. How do we decrease the pressure? This little cylinder has to open up some, and it's still airtight. And now Le Chat wants to fill that more because the pressure went down. He wants it to go back up. So he's going to go to the side that has more molecules, which is this one. So this guy's going to go down, and we're going to make more of these. See it happen? Wow, big change. So now we know what happens when we are doing a right shift. We are going to make more of these. And the numbers of these are going to go up a lot, and the numbers of these are going to go down. And that makes more molecules, which makes more pressure. And that's what Lachat wants to do. He wants to do the opposite. And we're going to have to stop now and start a new video. And we'll open that up in just a moment.